What defines transcendental if we look at it is a piece of art hmm, that um, or a piece of any any work whether it is music or it is dance whether it is cinema it is something that takes you on to a different plane right so i uh, for I, I would like to say that all the filmmakers who we consider uh, great uh, filmmakers starting with uh, even somebody like Orson Welles or um, coming up to even now if you look at somebody like Apichat Pong in um, uh, Thailand uh, what you see is that through their work they they transform that space now cinema happens within a a frame right now how do you construct i think uh, while Tarkovsky whose films are extremely transcendental not only in terms of um, uh, the thought process but also in the th ter terms of the way he is uh, sort of he executes a film uh, his editing style is one of total non-interference he lets it play out in the frame he he transports you through um, let us say through uh, watching, through colors, through light, through uh, and uh, the process of editing is a process of building up on this feeling right. If you see a film like mirrors for example, what happens uh, it is just the feeling of being uh, uplifted or taken in this memory in a kind of cumulative fashion. But if you look at Orson Welles for example, what his editing does is it is almost a dialogue between the shots right uh, and that is what the editing does. It, it transports you either through the dialogue or through the uh, or, uh, just letting it be. So, I'm, uh, I must say that um, even if I look at Apichat's work, I recently saw Mekong River, his new film and I just thought he transports you again almost in a Tarkovskian way. He lets you watch, 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 Im, uh, absorb, imbibe, right. But um, I'm saying that editing is only one of the elements that create this cinema, this kind of cinema and this kind of cinema actually um, is created through the combination of all these elements whether it is editing or sound or acting or whatever. Uh, acting is also a very important thing I just feel that you know if you look for example at um, the trial of Joan of Arc right you look at that face and how it is composed, how it is put against other shots, where this dialogue takes place actually between the shots uh, and the actor and the actor's face and the, the idea of the sacrifice that is uh, being uh, or the martyrdom that is being portrayed. Uh, I think, yeah, so there is no way you can just say that there is one particular style of editing that creates uh, the transcendental nature of a film go and so i'm i'm saying that yeah um, the nature of making it a great piece of or a piece of art that transports you beyond just the the frame is possible either in a long take but it is also possible by many short shots that come together talk to each other and then create that impression in your mind. Yeah. You look at uh, uh, one trier for example, look at the way he cuts, I mean it is the most anarchic cutting. We cannot as uh, teachers of cinema actually we cannot show one trier early to a student because it is extremely confusing it is really extremely confusing but at some point you have to show it to your student because that is where you say look 
every rule is broken every single rule is broken it's almost anarchic you know uh, look at um, the song of the uh, the film of the blind girl what is it called um, the singer who i forgotten von Trier's film yeah uh, in that the way he cuts it's crazy he he's cutting there's no direction of look there's hardly any continuity there's uh, uh, jump of the line all that is happening but it's magical you know so uh, that's it it's like you have to say uh, the thought has to be magical the 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 artist it's really the artist i would say that and as an editor when you work with a great artist you get into that flow you understand i'm sure vontrez editor or i don't know if he edited it himself knows that these are rules being broken and this is why i would like to also add that hollywood cinema doesn't become transcendent because the editing is perfect i mean it's really perfect there's you can never find fault with the editing the filmmaking but where does that moment of lift come it is from the artist you know and that is what i think is the difference between very great cinema and just good cinema a textbook says that you have to cut like this you have to do this and uh, you find that the greatest filmmakers are actually breaking all that but then you have to uh, i think you have to take your students through that process because only if you know the rules can you break the rules and it's a silly thing to say but you really need to know the rules to break the rules no i think it's quite interesting that in fact i would say that there's been a little bit of a because of i think the novelty of cinema created more great films than now when there is so much noise i mean there's so much visual overcrowding that i think you know, to find the gem is more difficult actually it really is you know it's rare to come across a film that you say wow you know this blew my mind we are still looking at uh, um, kurosawa and dreams and all that as you know great moments of cinema but um, it's difficult nowadays to find yeah yeah tree of life uh, i would also talk about boyhood uh, how uh, it really uh, i mean it really transforms you i mean there's something it's but that film i would say actually tree of life is more uh, is more um, challenging compared to boyhood of course it's uh, a much more challenging film yeah but uh, frankly i don't like it so much <laughs> i like boyhood very much i must say that uh, in the present time i i mean i think anurag is doing very interesting work i think uh, girish is doing girish castrovelli is doing very interesting work i think um, in kerala i think uh, i think nobody is doing interesting work it's true last night i saw this film kamatti uh, padam kamatti padam and i really liked it i really liked it but it's still not still not a, you know it's still not transcendental if you know what i mean whereas i think at some level uh, for example devdi i think anurag of course he has depended on a classic novel and therefore maybe he's you know sort of been able to reach that but then there has been arvindan for me a lot of his films are very important i i think girish's films are very important i think i think such satyajit ray for me is ghatak satyajit ray these are i mean these are all names that are said again and again but it's a fact they have created and i, uh, I mean even with john john abraham who i worked with and shot uh, amari and i have to tell you a small incident from the shoot uh, the editing of amarian which ties up with what you talking about now in uh, amarian there is one shot have you seen the film 
yeah there is that lengthy shot of a of a queue of people that goes on and on and on and on while they're giving the they're distributing the ration and the, there is a piece of music that plays and it's it's a never ending shot and he plays the international the song uh, the uh, revolutionary song behind it and this goes on and on and on while we were editing um i i kept saying john cut the shot just cut the shot it's too long it's too long and he kept saying no just don't touch this shot and we had a huge fight i was very young ha huh? i was uh, it was one of my early films <coughs> but now when i see that i really understand i really understand that the whole point and the whole energy of the film actually lies in that shot it just goes on and on and on and on and it goes in your mind and it with that beat i mean it's an extraordinary moment and i just think my god if i had not kept that moment in the film no and it also has to do with the fact that john was a great filmmaker though he was crazy and everybody thought he didn't know what he was doing but i remember him fighting i showed him a cut where i had cut it i didn't cut it much i cut it a little bit and he said what have you done you're spoiling he shouted me you're spoiling the film this that and then i realized yeah i have to keep the whole and i kept saying no why everybody will get bored you made your point it's understood Uh, the beauty has appeared now what what but that moment which takes it beyond just the the beauty of the shot the beauty of the idea is because that shot goes on and on and on so that is as an editor it was a big lesson for me because you have to look at a shot you have to look at a shot and see what its role is not only as a single shot or in the storytelling but in what it does to the audience that's what the center of transcendence is that's right what it does that, that beyond that that's right where do you what at what moment does it transform beyond that or what is that cut together that transforms it beyond it needn't be a single shot what i'm saying is where is that point that you put two shots together and when those two shots come together see i i can tell you another incident um daya which we no edit uh, shot i was the uh, director of um while we we saw it and all that and uh, mt sir was uh, this thing and mt sir has an editor's mind he's been you know an editor all his life a uh, sort of a book uh, magazine editor so he's really so he came and watched the cut and he told me he said bina uh, at this point the story must stop everybody must wait to know what's going to happen and i really realized it's of course these are not things that are written in the script because the script goes and i kept thinking i said what does he mean how does the story stop how do you stop a story so then i just what i did was i put a long shot at one point just a morning scene just a uh, there's the uh, there's the castle or whatever that uh, fort and there is just nothing happens some birds fly across and literally the story stops but that moment is so important in that film that moment you feel yeah you know you're just you get a moment to hold your breath you get a moment to look you get a moment to think and then the film becomes something you know so this is what how editing sort of that's what i was exactly yeah it's not just editing not a physical process it's not a physical that's process that's, that's right of uh, the moments that you have to think that what is it and i'm i i completely give empty sir credit for this because he looked at me and he said bina no it's not a story you should not just stick to the story going you should think of what it's doing to somebody what 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 are they experiencing you know so these are yeah it's it's a it's also intellectual it's really i feel transcendental is not only emotional it is an intellectual experience you have to transport your mind into a different situation editing is an important editing is really important because you can also destroy it 
like I said in that shot with John Abraham, I could have destroyed that moment or I could uh, in there I need not have created that moment, you know what I mean. So the thing is that yeah, it is editing is really crucial in this process of uh, understanding and constructing these moments, yeah. So it is not only the shot, you know. There is something that is transforming or traveling along the shot. That is right. There is and I always, the first thing I always tell my students is definitely in cinema 1 plus 1 is not 2, 1 plus 1 is 3. I mean in montage theory it is a, it's a foregone thing but in all filmmaking 1 plus 1 is 3 because what you see is not what you think. Uh, Indian cinema uh, does not lack it, Indian cinema has a different way of, uh, I think has to discover a different way because we have always had grand traditions of music and we have had grand traditions of all sorts of art. But I think uh, cinema fell into the folk art tradition which is a different kind of tradition, it is storytelling, it is fun, it is entertainment, it is uh, it's fairly flat if you know what I mean. It is not, you know, so maybe that is the reason I and I mean, but I am now finding that this transcendence is a different experience, frankly, I do not know if it is my age, but for me even something like urbanization holds great, great meaning, you know. And that meaning is transforming the way I am looking at things, yeah. But I think it is very exotic to uh, think that all of us have this grand uh, spiritual, I mean we are just as alienated as any, uh, as any urban uh, society now. Uh, there has been such a disconnect from the land, there has been such a break in our tradition. So yeah, you cannot expect that our cinema will be uh, suddenly like that, but our cinema has different quality.